Everybody says, we don't need a homeowner's association. That's stupid, Quagmire. Well, this is why a homeowner's association. <laughs> Lois? What'd you do that for? I thought you and him were girlfriend and boyfriend. He was not my boyfriend, Peter. And I wasn't about to stand by and watch him kick your ass. I was holding my own there. You were getting beat up. No, no, I meant I was holding my own nuts so he wouldn't kick him. But if he's not your boyfriend, why'd you kiss him? He kissed me. And I should have told you. I'm sorry if I hurt you, Peter. I guess Larry just reminded me of a younger version of you, and the truth is, I liked that he was paying me a little attention, the way you used to. <sighs> Maybe I have been taking you for granted, but I promise I'll make it up to you. I'll be the best husband ever. You already are. For God's sakes, when push came to shove, you stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with a much younger man and fought for me. All right, by the way, uh, thanks, all my kids, for stepping in to help. Really, really appreciate that. But you're right, Lois. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna do all the stuff for you that Larry was doing. No, Peter, I don't need any of that. At our age, all I'm really looking for in a husband is someone who wants to watch TV with me on a Saturday night and isn't afraid to pop a zit on my back. Afraid? I love doing that. It's like bubble wrap you get to have sex with every now and then. I got a pretty good one going right now, Peter. You always do, Lois. I love you. From that day forward, Peter and Lois never again... Oh, nope, sorry, there's still another scene left. Well, Peter, turns out your initial instinct was right. You never should have let any of your children contact you. You said it. From now on, I'm making sure my sperm stays right where it belongs. In the bathroom sink. <laughs> <laughs> we have fun down here. <laughs> and then another. <laughs> <laughs> and then another. <laughs>